makes a mistake. It's how you deal with that mistake is the make to me the indication of the character I'm mm -hmm. dealing with. Sure. And it's at the end of the day, it's not a cure for cancer. Right. Like it really isn't. Yeah. Uh, it's a great relief. We have a mm -hmm. clients that we do one on one that have that are going through chemo, that are going that have MS or right. cerebral palsy. And it's when we bring we can either do it one on one when mm -hmm. we bring the spa to them. It's a chance in their life of medication, doctor's appointments, where they just go back to what it used to be, what color nail polish will I get? And it's great. It's a real reward. So kind of going back to what you asked first, mm. would I do it again? Absolutely, because those days make it in spades. Right, they right. Make it, yeah. Right, so what, um, what else, what other piece of advice could you give people? You have a great team, uh, dealing with adversity, uh, just face it. Uh, I asked if you do it all over again, and you, you definitely said yes, which is wonderful mm -hmm. to hear. I'll do it again. Um, love it, whatever it is that you're doing. Mm -hmm. Get lots of sleep, eat right. <laughs> yes, fair enough, fair enough. It's uh, And it's true, because a lot of people think, oh, you're giving a massage, you're doing something so nice. It's the client that's resting. Right. You're the one that's doing all the work, and you have to make, like anything, Sure. If you're a professional, you have to make it look like it's effortless. Absolutely, for sure, absolutely. And so, so let's talk a little bit about Kawi. Mm -hmm. you're, you're also a member of Kawi, uh, yes. Canadian Association for Women. Uh, Entrepreneurs and Executives. Entrepreneurs and Executives. Thank you very much for yeah. <laughs> helping, helping me there. That, I, I'd only uh, read about that one yes, yesterday. So, so yeah, tell me about this wonderful organization and, and how long have you been a part of it? Uh, two years. Two years. And that is surrounding yourself with great women, as we talked about. Mm -hmm. Um, very important to have the support and you also hear from others that um, this worked for them even though they might be in a different mm -hmm. industry an entrepreneur is in the same position no matter what product it is you have right so you can glean some of the experience that they've gone through some of the stuff that um, sometimes with myself I didn't even think about it, it was like oh never thought of that Right. So it's a terrific organization. We meet downtown at the Hot House. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Beth was mentioning that yesterday. And it's only getting up early once a month. Ah. Not on a weekly basis. Mm -hmm. So. Um, so it sounds to me like you you surround yourself with women mm -hmm. in your organization of Cowie. You are your clients are primarily women. Mm -hmm. So you've got quite a, a woman's life, like, and how do you find it? Because because there are people out there that say that there's two sides to it. Women can either be great, like you said, it's like herding kittens, or and, and from a networking business point of view, how have you found that? Like, I, I know they're great for support, but I've heard di I've heard different stories, different sides of the coin regarding w actually networking with them. That it it it's it can be sometimes just more social than really helping from a business point of view. Uh, do you have any thoughts on that? Yeah, cause my business is definitely, like I, I was with a networking group where it was men and women. Mm -hmm. And I'd be talking to Joe the plumber and they're thinking, you're mad, well, like what am I soaking in? <laughs> and I felt that I wasn't getting any validity to what I did. Right. I feel that I'm preaching to the converted when I'm talking to women. They know how lovely it is to, the majority, Yes. know how relaxing it is to have all of these things done. Mm -hmm. So. I felt I didn't have that hurdle to get over. I felt that women were the audience that I should address. So that's why I did change to Cowie. And that's, um, as you said, women are mostly my uh, audience, mm -hmm. the group of people that I go to. Do you, do you ever do any men's parties or men's, do you have men's, men clients? Uh, yeah, I have male clients. Uh, I have found that we have done parties where the men have like either gone a quick exit um, they see us coming and they're like out the other door. Oh, really? Or... A little too macho for that, are they? Well, that or it's like great we're at golfing or uh. we're off. Or there's the men who kind of circle around and then at the end, close to the end of the party, the hostess will come over and say, do you have time to do my husband's massage? Yeah, I love it. I love getting my feet done. I love getting my nails done. I love getting facials. I love it. I love yeah. getting massage. Who doesn't like getting rubbed? How can you not like getting rubbed? I love it. It's 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 fantastic. I'm with you. 
Yeah, I but, can't understand. And, it and it's and it's truly, truly healthy. Very. It's very healthy. It, uh, it's not just um, it brings your blood pressure down. It's mm -hmm. it's just wonderful for your health. What? From what I understand, there's a very small percentage of people that actually use their medical benefits uh, or their, their the benefits that they have in their corporations to get massages and to get yeah, taken care of this Yeah, that's for RMTs. Way. Right, right. Now, now does I, your, your, your company manages that as well? No, I don't have RMTs on staff. It was too difficult. What's RMT stand for? Registered Massage Therapist. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay. okay. They, those are the people that... Uh, the company policies will mm. cover massage, Got you. usually for about five hundred dollars or so a month, a year. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, I don't have any on staff. Yeah, because like you're, you, and for the reason being, you're saying it's too expensive to keep them on, or is it just that they? Yeah, it is. It's too expensive, and a lot do not want to travel. Ah. It's like they can set up their own place, whether it be in their home or at a clinic. You're right. They don't want to be schlepping stuff around. Yeah, I suppose, well, I suppose there's pros and cons too. Yeah, yeah. And I don't want to put it on my website and then someone book it and, you know what, I couldn't get anybody. Yeah, I gotcha. don't think that's professional. I'd rather say, no, we don't do it. Right. Okay. Okay. But yeah. you still, again, we can all learn the basics of massage. Yeah, I'm we sure do aromatherapy. Know, well, that's it, massage. exactly. I'm yep. sure you know a lot more than, mm -hmm. than, than I do which I'm sure my girlfriend would appreciate if I knew more, <laughs> but I don't. Maybe I'll come see you or have you come see me. So uh, how can people get a hold of you? What's the easiest way to get a hold of you? My website, which mm -hmm. is www.naturallycarmel.com. Naturallycarmel.com. C-A-R-M-E-L. Excellent. Dot com. Excellent. Yep. Well, you know, Carmel, thank you so much for coming in. Oh, my and pleasure. sharing not Thank only you. just about your business, but uh, but about what your experiences are. Because to me, that's the most important part. Mm -hmm. Which I'm sure you do that a lot with Cowie anyway. And so people can get a hold of Cowie. Cowie, I believe, is uh, uh, Cowie.org. Uh, is that correct? That I'm not sure. They're going to okay. fire me. Well, they can check yesterday's podcast. To if you see just type the, in the Cowie. Exactly. Just type in Cowie. But I'm pretty sure. Uh, anyway. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, that's wonderful. No, 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 absolutely, that's wonderful. Carmel. Thank you so much for joining us on Buzz for Biz. My pleasure. Thank and, you. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to have you come back sometime. And do massages for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> How do I turn down that? <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow with Carmel Lundin. <laughs> no. <laughs> Carmel, thank you so much. Thanks.